Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I know it's dark in here, but do you see this? Oh, that's a jewelry box, I think. These are all, th so far, these are all real. Jewelry, gold, silver, gemstones. These are testing the topaz right here. What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, we're back in Oakland, California, and this locker has been so, so good to us. Um, you see, my I got my Honda today, and it's all full of garbage cans right now because that was what today was supposed to be is it's a dump day. We're taking loads to the dump. I'm trying to make some room in that locker. Okay, guys, there's our, our spot down there. I've been working. You see, I drug a bunch of stuff out, but check this out right down the aisle here. Made some new friends. You want to say hello? And this is Carlos. We're working just a few doors down from each other and he is also a storage buyer and he is also a YouTuber. Yeah, so oh, my God, this is his uh, channel right here, guys. If you want to subscribe to it, that's how you spell it. Thank and you, so much, you got, how much did you pay for this locker? It was free for me. <laughs> free. And look, and look. Look what he found. Wow. Look, Jack. Ooh, that's nice. Wait, is this real? Yeah. You think real. so? Because it kind of feels real, huh? Yeah, if it's real. Mm, I don't know. This one I got doubts, but this is this is a nice fake if it's a fake. Yeah. If it's not real, this is a nice fake. It feels very soft. Wait, do we, did you see the serial number in here? It was like in one of the corners, I think. Oh, maybe it is real. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little dark in here, but if it's in there, oh man. Yeah. Jack, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Subscribing. Yeah, subscribe. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> really appreciate it, man. What, what's your name? Gianluca. All right. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. I'm going to start digging down here. I'm going to Jack. Yeah, I only got like four boxes and some garbage bags. I'm close. Very open. This all, all flea market stuff. I gotta put that back. Gotta get rid of that guy. That's a yeah, big big projection TV. But this is what we're down to: garbage bags, probably all clothes, and these four boxes. But they are large boxes. I'm excited. You guys excited? Let's start digging. This is the locker I paid 810 bucks for plus the fees. So it's about 900 bucks. Of course, I'd rather have gotten this for free, but I'm not complaining. We did find great stuff. We are already in the profit and uh, still have a lot more to sell. Okay, we got this one open. Right away, I'm seeing... Oh, I thought it was kids' clothes. Maybe these aren't. Maybe these are adults' PJs. Um, I do have a garbage can set up right here, Gar garbage bag. That is just to make it easy to transfer. We're not throwing these away. Don't freak out, all you complainy pants out there. You know who you are. You know what you do. <laughs> Complain about all the stuff I throw away. This is just a garbage can. It's just efficient. That's the garbage right there. All right, so we're just going to transfer. I'm not looking too hard right now. So I'm not seeing what stuff I like. I want to see some t-shirts. I want to see some jeans. I want to see some vintage stuff. I don't see that yet, but uh, yeah. This is a lot like the other stuff. We have found so many clothes in this locker. So many. Okay, that was that. Um, yep, not one surprise in there. And uh, I'm not surprised that there's no surprises. I wasn't expecting very much. We've got these right here to go through. Let me move a little quicker and get through this because if I find something good, I'll update you guys, but this is not what we want. We want these four right here. That is a potential. Okay, actually this one's quite heavy. It's not closed. This is more kitchen stuff. Wow. All right, there's a flea market bin there. Ah, I don't think those are sellable. <laughs> well, that's strange. This is a sealed Jumanji game, uh, uh, movie. Spot at Walmart, but what's with the case? Look at this case right here. I don't think I've seen that before. Maybe this is, I don't, I don't get this. I don't get the case. Also, I went back through and pulled out all those, those uh, VHS that say Undertaker on it. We have had so many Undertaker collectors come to our auctions. I want to give them a chance to buy that if they want it. That's that's a nice piece right there. Hmm, that one's broken. Golden nest. Oh, what's this? Oh, it is empty. Dang it, JBW. I don't think we found a watch by JBW, but that was a watch case originally. Um, I'm gonna put that aside just in case we still find it. It was, uh, what? Originally 1190 bucks for JBW Hendrix men's watch. Four, uh, quarter carat diamonds. And it was uh, on clearance for $178. Wow. Okay. 
That's an empty box right here. Hmm. That's odd. It's copper. Dracula from Hotel Transylvania. A Happy Meal toy. I think there's some kind of earbuds right there. AirPods or whatever. Brand new electronics. We found a lot of those. Okay, wait. This is something. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a Pokemon. Happy Meal toy. Right there, Happy Meal. You get a card and this little Pokemon figure. Okay, maybe that, I don't know. Oh, is this an ashtray? Oh, I think that's an ashtray. Put your cigarettes right there. And it looks like a little fireplace. That's actually kind of cool. A little bit, a little bit cool. Okay. Blu-ray disc player, Sanyo. I'll put that aside. Blu-ray sells for a little bit more. What's this? That's the, I think the Beats logo right there. USB to HDMI right here. I don't know. Little bracelet right here. Looks like a leather strap and maybe brass right here. Cancer, it's an astrological sign. Correction tape, that's funny, little rabbit. There's a squishy right here. A few toys, nothing too crazy. There's a nice cup, not broken this time. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. This, this looks like kitchen stuff. There is a kiss plaque, surprisingly undamaged. Wow. Maybe like a little booger on the corner right there. Signatures here, but I have a feeling those are just facsimiles. Just a cool piece. Very cool piece. And there's another one. Oh, even neater. Even neater. This one is like gold plated or something. Kiss Destroyer. Very cool. Very cool. Something's in here. Oh, candy bars. <laughs> Thank you for shopping with us. That's actually kind of funny. Bunch of junk mail. Get, get that out of here. Another little bracelet or something. Nice bag right here. Oh, nice. Ziploc bags. One gallon size. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I like weird stuff in a can. I, I like that. That saves me a little bit of money. We use them all the time. There's a... Um, die cast car or something in a it looks like a coke bottle i think it's completely knocked off but we'll put it aside i am loved yes i am hmm that guy almost looks old almost looks old i don't think he is though that's different little push pin set right here hmm. me and my girls want that I don't know what it is about this. I just like this thing. Ashtrays are... They can have some collectability in the little value. Oh, look at this. King of Queens. This is a piece of uh, marble right here. And it's, I think, a business card holder. Very heavy. I'm going to put it aside just because it's nice. Nice. Okay. Now, what's this? King of Queens. There's all the CD covers or whatever. Yeah, I mean... It's in here. It's not in great shape. That thing fell off there. It's not in great shape, but that's supposed to go there. It came unglued. I mean, it's kind of clever. It's got like the delivery truck because he worked for UPS, United, or IPS. IPS. <laughs> All right, we'll put it aside just in case. But, mm. the rest is garbage. All right, that's better than clothes, though. This right here alone is makes it worth it. Yeah, another uh, non-closed garbage bag right here. Okay, these are uh, family photos right there. Family photos. Oh my goodness, this is so old. So um, good, good uh, update on this locker, guys. Kind of, kind of good. So I asked the manager today about the personal stuff. I said, hey, I've got a box of personal photos. Oh yeah, it's over there. I got a bunch of them. This this thing right here is Winnie the Pooh box I'm using for the photos. There's a whole bunch of them, right? And the, like this stuff. 
I said, I'm gonna uh, give that back to you if you want it. But then I also have some family photos. Maybe that like, uh, this and a pencil drawing. And there's some like college uh, diploma looking stuff. It's not really diplomas, but whatever it is. I said, what do you want with this? She goes, oh yeah, give it back to me because these people, these, she goes, normally I would say, yeah, just the paperwork, but she goes, these people really do want stuff back. They were very upset about losing this. And I'm like, oh really? Okay, I was wondering if they died or what happened. And she says, no, they're still around, but they just, they couldn't pay for it. So this is some old napkins right here. See this? Vintage napkins. I don't know if there's a value in vintage napkins, but it's definitely interesting. The single girl's evening prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. I wish I had a man for keeps. Should there be a man beneath my bed? I hope he heard each word I said. <laughs> it's funny. So anyways, yeah, she said, yeah, they were really upset about losing it. And I said, well, why'd they lose it then? She said, ah, oh, they just couldn't pay for it. She said, um, yeah, they, this one actually went up for auction last time and uh, they paid up at the last minute, but this time they couldn't, they couldn't swing it. So look at these old pot holders right here. This stuff is, is getting, this bag's getting older. So I hesitate to take anything right to the market. Oh yeah, look at this. Vintage, 40 cashmere soft napkins. Monogram, California, San Francisco. This is new old stock. This is interesting. Not super valuable, but there's a little bit of collectability to this kind of stuff. So anyways, um, yeah, she said they just, last time it went up for auction, it canceled at the last minute. So a month ago, I wasn't healthy enough to buy a locker, so that's neat. Huh, ideal as paperweights or impressive knickknacks. They're plastic, they're not very heavy, so I don't know how impressive, but this is kind of cool. It's old, that is old. Put that aside, I'm liking this. Some more of those. Yeah, so I, I didn't see it last month because I wasn't really shopping all that hard for stuff, you know what I mean? Some vintage stuff here. Beer drinkers make better lovers, okay. Uh, is this stuff collectible? I don't know. I don't ask for much out of life, just a little beer money. Just a little food money, and every, every now and then, just a little. <laughs> Ooh, this is a lot of vintage stuff here. Made in Brazil right here, Sarah Mark. It's a Budweiser Stein. Usually we don't do too well with these, but maybe this one's an exception, I don't know. I love you, Dad. And what is this? That is maybe a trivet or something? It's an odd shape, though. There's something else. Oh, these are kind of cool though. Little baskets. Ah, empty box. Huh. Empty box. Oh, nice. More vintage stuff. These plastic coasters are cool. Made in the USA. Definitely shows its age. Oh, that's nice. Look at this scarf. Whew, that's cool. Oh, because it's I know it's old. It's just so cool. Very nice. Bartender's Guide. And quite a few of these. Bar Guide? Huh, it's kind of neat. Made in Los Angeles, that's funny. Glen Shaw Creations. Huh, valuable? I don't know. Mm. I think this is a custom made thing right here. Because I don't see a uh, marking. I'm a horny little devil. Oh my goodness. That's kind of funny. A little chip right there, not a big deal. Uh, a little chip right here too. That is a vintage piece, so a little um, ashtray. Retired, but still works as being a royal pain in the ASS. Huh, 2004, this is funny. I'm really surprised this stuff's not all broken up the way they packed it. Napkins, vintage napkin holder here. It's only 50 cents. <laughs> Problem when they put prices on. We take it to the market and people are like, oh, it's 50 cents. It's like, nah, nah, I don't take 50 cent mark items to the market. Oh, bummer. Found our first broken piece and it's one of these. Bummer. Because that was a neat, oh, this is broke. That's broke. All right, we'll let that go to Stockton. Mm. Too bad. Southern Line Specific belt buckle. That looks old too. Wow. Okay. Catnips, cat toys. Oh, there's a little scale, uh, probably end scale train right here. These vintage wall hangers right here. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all those cat toys. Brand new, I'll bring those home. 
We'll let our cats have some fun. Oh, beautiful glass, old glass ashtray right here. Or maybe it's just a candy tray, I don't know. Mm, that's old. What's that? Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, you got something? Oh, Nike, nice. It's like vintage. Yes, it does. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. For my cow. That's nice. <laughs> that's worth a few bucks right there. Yeah, large. Yeah. Is it raining? Yeah. You, you might need to keep that. Uh, that's exactly. cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I collect Jordans. Oh, you do? Yeah. I bet you that's a hundred bucks right there yeah. at, at the vintage vintage market, you know? Oh, wow. That's old. Put that over here. Pictures. Okay. Uh, these are um, plastic right here. And too bad because those are, if those are glass, that'd be nice. Right, some more old photos here. We'll get those back. Oh, high school diploma. Nice. A piece of stained glass right here. It's another old belt buckle with a train. Five bucks. That looks old though. Like it was sold a long time ago. Southern Line Pacific. More railroad stuff. Little trains. Super dead. <laughs> this is some good stuff here. That's kind of neat. A little keychain. And another belt buckle. Marty. Oh wow, look at this. The perfect hostess aid stops ice. Oh wow. <laughs> Clips into your glass. How funny. Okay, we got a few more of these little basket tr tray things here. This is probably for serving food of some sort right there. Oh, neat. More catnip toys. Luna, you're welcome. Oh, look at this apron. Oh, that's so neat. So neat. It's plastic. It's definitely vintage. Oof, this is fun stuff. I bet you this is from their one of their mothers or grandmothers. Huh. I should have danced all night. Oh. <laughs> Prager's. That's funny. Got another one of those. The whole world is crazy but me and you. And I've got my doubts about you. <laughs> Alright. That was that. All right, let me put all this away. Some of this will go into our auction. Some of this will go to the better flea market. I got to sort out what's what. All right, guys, the next bag I went through right here. This is all it's hard to see, but it's all books. Really hard to see. All books, except a couple things a little different. Look at this Joel Olstein inspiration cube. Uh, here are Joel's greatest inspirations and sermons. 365 daily inspirations, 52 weekly sermons. That's actually kind of cool. It's a little tiny thing too. It sits on your bedside or whatever. It looks like an alarm clock, I guess. Pretty neat. I don't know about value, but this right here, briefcase, I'm usually not that impressed. This one feels quality. Looks to be leather, like a high quality leather. That code opens it. What is that? Looks like 416, 4, 416 or something. But anyways, look at this. Barney's New York, made in this Italy. Holy smokes. Do you see that? Hopefully that's coming on the camera. It's very hard to see even with the eye here, but Barney's New York made in Italy. And look at the inside of this. It's like suede. That is beautiful and it does not look dirty inside. I don't think that was ever used. That's definitely going home with me. That's got to have a little bit of value, right? Next box, or next bag right here. This one looks kind of interesting, so let's go through that. Could just be junk mail. Oh. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, it's a backpack rabbit. Very soft, very soft. How cool. Feels like a good quality. Okay, we definitely got more more boats here. Game on from Pong and Pac-Man to Mario and Minecraft. That's a pretty cool book. Ah, a lot of books. That, that explains why this is so heavy. And it was heavy. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oops, 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 oops. Undertaker, number one of two comic book. There's number two. No, this WW Heroes, number two. Okay, a couple comics. That's decent. And then look at this Gene Simmons uh, book right here. Maybe we'll sell that. If we've had a lot of Kiss fans coming to the auctions. Yep, oh, there's a. Wait, what's this? Thing? Snowball, snowball. Oh, it's a little hard drive. <laughs> Stamps. That's cool. Yeah. Little Death Star right there. Friday the 13th button. <laughs> Looks 
in here? Mini stunner right here. This guy had a lot of stun guns. Well, if you lived in Oakland, I don't know if he did, but if you lived around here, this is a pretty rough area, guys. So maybe that's the reason he had a bunch of stun gun. He seemed like he was a big dude, but that only gets you so far, right? It doesn't help you when you're up against like a whole pack of guys jumping you. Then stun gun probably doesn't help that much either. Mega Death live. It's in there. Diecast car. Morbid Angel. There's a couple burn CDs with Morbid Angel on it. Huh? Some kind of 49ers thing here. And that's that. Alright, I had to move the table because we had someone working in there. That was unfortunate timing. Okay, but they didn't stay long, so got our spot back and I chose this one because it's a good light. Better light, not great light. The whole place is a little bit dim. Okay, look at this. Ooh, these look nice. These look old. Look at this leather case with the red felt inside. And these are Mercury 7x50s, model number 8657. They seem pretty nice. They work. Alright. <laughs> oh boy. Look at these sketchers. Look at the, the, the heels or the soles on those. Yikes, those are... Those are done. They're blowing out. There's a pair of garbage. <laughs> Coffee cup. Make sure there's no hundred dollar bills rolled up in there. <laughs> That's funny. Too bad it's dimpled right here. Probably bring that to the better market. Yeah, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Hmm. This is another one of those, uh, I thought it was a die cast, but it's not die cast. Wait, this, you know what this is? This is a little remote control car. It comes with a plastic tube over it. That one's popped right there. And here we got a bunch more paperwork and garbage. Oh, wait. Take those, I use those. Oh, that's cool, San Francisco 49ers. Little dice to hang in your car. Heat tech, Japan technology right here. Hmm. Blood rider, blood rider spray on theatrical blood. Funny. Another heat tech right there. Napkins. Wait, those are brand new napkins. I'll probably bring those home. And I guess that's it for that, guys. Oops, there's that. Oh, that's for the car. All right, that one is open. That's right. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oops. Next bag was pretty light. Now I see why. Stuffies. <laughs> now we're going to take a quick peek. Oh, boy, we had a couple of uh, horror plush and sold them on our auction the other night. And, man, those went pretty good, especially we had a couple Chucky dolls from the Child's Play movie. Those went for big money. I didn't realize they were so collectible. I'm not seeing that stuff here, but we'll go through it all. That one looks old. Jeez, that looks really old. <laughs> I might take that to the better market. And nothing too crazy yet. Nah, this is just regular old stuffed animals. Nothing, nothing I see is collectible here, but I don't know them that well. There's some baby shark thing. All right, yep, that's that. Okay, there was no clothes, surprisingly. I thought those bags were going to have all clothes in there, and there was none. Except for when we first started, that first bag. Uh, I'd say that was a lot better than clothes, though. Got some good stuff, especially the older stuff. Okay, guys, we're down to those last four, and I am hoping there's some good stuff in here. Don't forget, like, right over here is where we found that huge jewelry box. And on the shelf back in the corner, you can't see it now, but we found the small jewelry box. I haven't even gone through those yet. We still have to go through those. They're home. They're secure. Um, I just haven't had the time. Monday night we did a whatnot auction. You guys probably heard me talking about like, oh, this stuff we'll put in our auction. Like the good box I'm going to bring home and do a second sort for the auction. This stuff's just going to go to Stockton Flea Market. And then that stuff's going to the better market. But the stuff we bring home for our auctions, that is for whatnot. If you guys aren't sure what that is, it's a live streaming auction app for your phone. 
Oh, look at this Gucci. Okay, just a bag, just a bag, but still. It's a brand we want, we like to see. Um, the rest of it does not look Gucci. <laughs> not at all. Uh, dang it. I was hoping it would get better in the back corner, like collectibles. This is looking like just normal stuff. But we look for the best stuff to put in those whatnot auctions so we have exciting auctions. And Monday's was crazy exciting. The alphabet of manliness. That's kind of funny. Hmm. Uh, man, Monday, we I think we actually set a new record with our Monday night auction. We did $7,000 in like five and a half hours. I don't, I don't think we've done better than that ever. Hmm. I'm not seeing the stuff I like for whatnot in here. This looks more like kids' toys. That's what it looks like. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's a Bible. Oh, that's cool. I thought it was a Pokemon or something. Yeah, that's what we do. I need to go through this stuff. Just, oh, look at this. Versace. Versace. Oh. Oh, this would be good for our auctions. If it was in here. Dang it. That looks like a real Versace uh, sunglass case, but not the sunglasses. The case is still worth some money. Yeah, I do have to take everything out of here, guys. I have to go through everything because if there's like... I think didn't we, we, last time we found a Tiffany like necklace or choker or whatever in a box like this. Crazy, right? It in, no, it's in a backpack. That's right. It's in a backpack. I'll show you what not right now. This is what it looks like. You guys come over and join us. We do them every Monday. We'll do them some other nights too. There's Storage Auction Pirate. Last time we were filming, we also pulled his up because he was doing an auction. This is what it looks like. When we're on, we'll be live streaming. We'll put it's items like up. Wallpaper from my, it probably looks like a lot of couches back in the day. You know what I mean? All right. We do have some Let's say hello to him. You know, we like to start might not see it. With, a, with about 37 giveaways. So. All right. He didn't see it. He's busy. He's getting stuff ready for sale, I think. But uh, once it starts, he'll put an item up and we'll be able to bid on it. Let's go to someone else to see if they... Uh, selling something there's so many auctions going all the time guys all the time let me find someone who's actually selling something right this very second right sealed pack of football cards here once they start yeah see right there the bids at two dollars now it's at three dollars because someone bid two you just click on there and swipe it oops i just bid <laughs> the shipping is four dollars someone just outbid me there at four so i just i didn't really want it because i don't really collect cards but i just want to show you guys what it looks like uh, pretty cool right so a, a lot of fun we start everything at just a dollar and we move very quick so we sold 200 lots the other night 200 that's two zero zero and uh man it was it was that's a lot of stuff yesterday i packed the entire day what is this that's kind of neat um i packed the entire day to get all of our packages out same like within a one day so we closed the auction at uh 9 30 or something at night and i had them all in the mill by five o'clock the next day crazy that feels kind of special whoa that's cool very cool giant spat that's kind of neat too huh. hmm that's got to be worth a little bit more than the other stuff, right? Um, something like this we probably wouldn't put in our whatnot, but we might take to the better flea market. But the like the kiss plaques that we found earlier, those would definitely go into whatnot. Like we do the best, we try to do the best stuff and whatnot. That's pretty crazy too. Oh wow, it really shoots good. <laughs> I see diecast cars in here. I see little Nerf guns. <laughs> Very cool. So let me go through all this and try to figure out if there's anything special, noteworthy, um, something worth pulling out. But I'll update you guys. Oh, hang on. Ah, that can't be real. That's a Louis Vuitton something or other. A little pouch. Uh, I don't think it's real though. Well, it goes home with me anyways. It's got a stain on it right here, but huh, that is interesting. Versace, Louis Vuitton, and a Gucci bag all in this right here. That That is insane, right? That's insane. Well, anyways, guys, if you haven't tried the whatnot before, please come uh, to sign up using our link, meaning click the link that's in the description of this video, or go to our website, lockernuts.com. I think that goes to that. Go to the lockernuts.com. We always put the links for the next auction. We put the sign-up links. If, if you use our link, you're going to get a $15 spending credit for free. And uh, that is only if you use the link, though. If you go and sign up directly, you don't get the link. No link for you. <laughs> no link for you. Where's the basket? I'm losing my mind. I've been here too many times. There we go. 
Yeah, so 15 bucks, and that's what not thanking you for trying out the platform. Dang, these are nice. Hmm. I brought these stinking nerfs to Stockton the other day. Not all of them, just a couple of them. I had a really nice one. The guy grabbed all the loose nerf darts and this really nice gun. I said five bucks, and he's like, oh no, a dollar. And I'm like, no man, five bucks. Put it down, left, and then uh, no one else even asked all day. Not me anyways. They maybe asked one of our other guys. And uh, the guy wound up coming back and snagging it for a dollar at the end of the day. So I'm not super hip on bringing the nerf, the nerf stuff to Stockton again. You know what I mean? I might take them out and put them in the, the uh, De Anza pile. I don't know. Or we might try them on whatnot, but it's a little hard to ship. These are nice. Yeah. But yeah, check us out on whatnot, guys, every Monday, pretty much. All right? But the website will have the, the link to the next, the next event. Let's check it out. Okay, next box. And this one says Bar Antiques. That's a little different. Okay. Okay. Much better. I really was hoping it would get better in this back corner. Finally starting to see a little bit of that. Oh my. Oh my. Antiques, but I didn't know it meant antique toys. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Made in Japan. Okay. That is very cool. This is definitely stuff for whatnot. I was just talking about it, and now we got some stuff for it. It is dusty. It's been displayed a long time. I think this is original stuff. Oh boy, that battery. And the only leak through, it's like totally corroded, but... Oh, look at that. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Already good, good, good. What's this? What is this? Oh, they're little, like, forks and mushrooms. And then here's a big mushroom that you stick them in for display. Oh, that's cool. It says a dollar on it for the set. That's crazy. Someone got a good deal on that. Oh, this is almost like that other piece we had. The Very similar. I'm glad we saved it. It's like, a, I think it's a, actually, that, could that really be for cooking stuff? Like put something in there that burns and then put your skewer on there? No, I think it is a, a no, that's for a cigarette pack, right? Oh, yeah, it's cigarettes. Okay, never mind. Made in Japan, cigarettes right there. You put your pack of cigarettes right there and then you set it here. It's an ashtray. Neat. Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. It's different. It's plastic, but it's just neat. Oh, she's old. Plastic also, but just older. Look at this, huh? Bicycle, prestige, brand new pack of playing cards there. Oh, what is this? It's a decanter. Music box. Hmm. Ooh, neat. Look at this little Scotty dog. Brass piece, solid. It's very heavy. Another one of those little plastic shoes. Monday night fights here nightly. It's kind of funny, sort of. Look at this. Brass. Nice. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Okay, this is, I think, another, yep, decanter. It says booze. Missing the lid right here. Let's see if we can find him. Find it complete. Ah, there we go. Didn't have to wait long for that. Okay, this dude, I'm going to put it to better flea market because I just think that's a breakable piece for shipping. It's, it's a little large and breakable. Small and breakable, or large and not breakable, but not large and breakable. Uh-oh, this one's too cool, though. Look at this. Oh, this actual working decant, uh, working pump on the decanter right there. It looks like they used to have hoses here, but they've dried up and broke off. I bet you could replace it, though. Hmm. Ah, no, I don't know what to do. This is some cool stuff. Oh, look at this. He's broke. His hands broke off. The Merry Wolves. This is 15 bucks on it. This is broke, though. Hmm, too bad. Oh, maybe they would still be collectible on that. I don't know. I doubt it. Oh, yeah. Jim Beam boot. Look at this. USN. This is a bottle topper. Japan. It's a little shot glass. Hmm. Huh. There's a skunk. Funny because I said his dog looked like Pepe Le Pew, and there's a skunk that looks like Pepe Le Pew. Short shot. Hmm. Shot to hell, it says. <laughs> I don't think those are supposed to go together, but there's another bottle topper, like a cork, and it's got a hose in it, so I wonder if it was meant to pour out of that. This stuff's really neat. Whoops. 
Well, then we got another one of these. I love you more than Fridays, okay. Bicycle steampunk playing cards, huh? Okay. This seems a little silly. Very little to do a steampunk. Okay, more of these guys. Are these collectible at all, guys? I don't think they're really that much desirable, but I might be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. I would prefer to be wrong. There's a painted rock right there. And another one. That's nice. Shoehorn, very old. Huh, neat. <laughs> CB or it's got all these uh, CB sayings. And he's got a bunch of cat toys inside. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna put that aside. We've got a, a viewer and, and uh, buyers from our Whatnot show that are truckers. You guys, if you're listening, you know who I'm talking to or talking about. Maybe they'll want that. I don't know. No music box here, made in China. Made in China, goes to Stockton. Mass produced stuff I'm not that impressed with. This is definitely much more interesting right here. Charlie Weaver bartender. Whew, dang, that's cool. This is some old stuff. He like does, like he moves. He's supposed to move, I think. Dang, that's nice. Oh, dang. Never found anything like that, I don't think. I see him. I think those might have some good value. Okay, what's up with this? USA. Pretty sure that's what that says. It's hard to read. It looks like USA. Okay, another decanter. We need the top there. Oh. Ah, chip. Right? Is that it? Yep, but there is a chip. Mm. Marco. Fine China, it says. Hmm. What's this? Double shot. Oh, there's another bottle topper. Wow. There's another one that pours. This is some neat stuff, guys. These vintage shot glasses and these vintage bottle toppers here. I don't know if that's what you call it, but cool stuff. Oh, hoo, hoo. I was just talking about the whatnot. Now we've got like total whatnot fodder right here meaning ammo for our whatnot shows dang it there's a glass elephant but his ear is busted uh, kitty cat made in china big shot another shot glass japan and there's some gold guys genuine gold from arizona gold flakes in the bottle right there that's cool what's this do original peter made in austria what the heck Oh boy, there's something in there. Wait, do you fill it with water or something? There's something about this. Huh. Ooh, look at this. Some sort of resin with some old time magazines in here. Huh, interesting. Oh, mm, that's cool too. Helen, it says, that looks older. That is actually really pretty. Oh, I just noticed there. That's a chip right there. Dang it. Oh, nice, nice uh, salt or uh, pepper, pepper mill right here. But I think it has it's supposed to have a little handle on top. Mmm. I mean, this is really heavy right here. This little pig. I think that's glass. Another Jim Beam boot. What's it all the boot? And then here is a vintage donkey. Looks like his tail's busted, maybe. Okay, here's another Budweiser Stein. This is like the ones we usually find. Sarah Mart, Brazil. Okay, maybe it's like the other one. You pay ten bucks for it. I think we bring them to the market and try to get five. We don't ever like try to get too much for them, but I don't even think they sell it five bucks. But the other one might. The other one's older. And these things, I don't know why he has these, but they're plastic cheapies. Okay, but this is cool. I really like these right here. I think we might have some value with these. These are definitely older. I just feel like that's got to be a collector for that. And this is some sort of brass or, you know, I think brass pineapple. Looks like it holds something. Mm, look at this. Fire hydrant. Music box made in Japan. Oh, it's a decanter also. Oh, that's cool. It was taped so the lid doesn't come off. Look at the old tape. It's like so old. Mmm, wait, okay. Well, that's one way to hold your cup. Ah, boy, 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 boy. Made in Taiwan. Hmm. What do you do with that? This is going to Stockton because mm, my girls helped me at Danza. I don't want them to see that. Oh, that is cool. An old martini shaker right here. Or I guess just a, a shaker glass. 
an old one with the recipes on it. That's so cool. But it is oh, there we go. Okay, that that was neat. Huh. I'm gonna take that to the better market. Again, a little bit larger, a little bit heavier, and breakable, harder to ship. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna ask twenty bucks on that. Okay, there's a clown. Hmm. Hmm. And another one of these. Everyone has a special place in this company. Another one of these. I'd really rather find the bottle toppers. Oh, matching horny toads here. Okay. Reno, Nevada. Classy. Keeping it classy, Reno. Okay, second to last box. Ooh. I thought it felt like toys. But um, it's looking like it's all Nerf guns. Wow, these guys had way more interest in Nerf guns than I even first thought they did. All right. There's some other stuff down there. Oh, these are cool. These Megas, I think. I've had those before. Hmm. Oh, look at this one. Looks like a Stegosaurus. Shotgun. Okay, Nerf guns out, and it looks like art. Oh, uh oh, what's this? Oh, we found that nice Escada scarf in this locker. What's this one? This looks nice. I don't see a maker on it though. The Escada was really nice. This one looks nice. I don't see a tag or anything though. Hmm. All right, we'll bring that back to Jana to take a look at. I was just in here with the art. It's kind of crazy. All right. Hmm. Looks like books and art. I'll go through it all then. We'll figure it out. Uh, nope. That was all it was. All right, guys. Last box. Last box. Mm, no writing on top. Ugh. This one's heavy. But no, it's not all dishes. I do smell food in here, though. Okay, what's this? Okay, some kind of decanter here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You got the little boy peeing. Like the fountains that you see made in Hong Kong. It's called mannequin liquor dispenser. No kidding. That's pretty funny. All right. Strip tees, highball glasses. All right. I don't think that's going to the market. I mean, to the good market. Oh, there's some liqueur right here. Oh, yeah. Imported from Italy. Frangelico. Looks older. <laughs> There's some grape wine. That's been opened. Yeah, we'll let that go. There, yeah, see what I was smelling. This uh, actually, I think it's bar stuff, but Scotch whiskey. Mmm, that's sealed. Okay, that might have some value. Too bad the box is open. Okay, Virescape. It looks like we have a water fountain here. Mary, good cook. Kissing don't last. Cooking do. There's no place like home after the bars close. <laughs> Age is mostly a matter of mind. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Okay. Proprietor not responsible for behavior when intoxicated. These are all things that hang in your bar, I guess. Okay. There's a Budweiser boot right here. Kind of neat. Oh. An old lantern right there with some oil still in it. That seems a little dangerous. Okay. These light bulbs are weird. Look at these. This looks fun. Mm. Shot glasses. Oh wow, look at this thing. <laughs> Pepsi, it's been pulled, melted. It still has stuff in it. And no lid. Peter Rabbit milk chocolate. It's just a box. Wait, that's what? 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 Oh, that one. That one looks a little yellow. Snow globe. Okay. Okay. I do see some stuff in here I like. We are gonna have to get everything out of here. Unfortunately, they, they really didn't pack this well. Classic vanilla syrup right there. We'll take that some stock then. These I like. This is glass right here, guys. Glass flowers. Oh, please be not broken. Oh, so far we're lucky. These are beautiful. Okay. It's no care at all the way they pack these. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, this one actually is broken though. That's super sharp right here, but you can grind it down. I might even try grinding it down with my Dremel. 
Oh, wow, these are pretty. This is a great score right here for those. That's sharp. <laughs> Can't cut myself. I won't stop bleeding right now. I got, I'm on these blood thinners. I'm really kind of concerned about that. There's an old shot glass. <laughs> it starts rabbits for ladies, for the gentlemen, for pigs, and then for jackasses. So you fill it all the way up if you're a jackass. <laughs> Funny. Okay. That is kind of neat. I think it's just plastic. It looks stained glass, but it's just plastic. But it's kind of neat. Okay, but this right here, guys. This. Oh, that's nice. This is mid, like mid-century barware right here. I'm pretty sure this is authentic stuff right here. This is some good, good money. Okay, there's two. No breaks yet. That's really good. This stuff sells so hot. Three pieces. The hurrier I go, the behinder I get. That's funny. That thing's kind of neat. A little bit neat. Not too neat, just a little bit. Oh, here's the broken glass piece right here. Ah, dang it. There's the fourth one and it is broken. Okay. These also, I think, are older, mid-century. Some shot glasses here. This is open. This one, maybe not, not open. Wait, nope, that's never been opened. This one's never been opened. Grenadine, I'll let that go. Okay guys, now what are we left to here? Ah, not one of these. Shot glasses, I don't know. I think I'll let them go to Stockton, I mean. All right, changed my mind already. <laughs> Take it to the better market. We'll just try it out there. See what happens. Dollar each or something, you know? There's a lot of them. There's another uh, vintage one right here, Japan. It says gunshot. It's like a, a shape like a gun. That one's cool. Closed mouth gather. There's no food. Ain't no such thing as a free lunch. 11 cents on that, huh? Hmm. All right, that'll do it. All right, guys, there it is. I'm done, see? Proof. I mean, I'm done for the day. Come on, I'm not done. We've got a lot of stuff in here still. So this is pretty much all flea market stuff. Couple empty bins, garbage, and then uh, those two yellows, that guy and that guy is coming home with me. I just don't have room because I filled my truck with garbage. So the rest of this is going to the flea market um, with those few exceptions. And uh, I don't think there's a lot of money here. I don't think any of this stuff is especially high value, but it does all add up, you know, dollar here, $2 there, $5 there. Maybe there's some $10 bills in there. Not too many, but it will all end up in, uh, add up and it will all go away. But I'm going to have to rent a trailer. If you guys don't know, my trailer's in the shop right now. And I just got an update. Jana got an update uh, since I've been here. And they're saying that the damage to the trailer is too extensive for them to fix at the trailer store. They're going to have to ship it back to the manufacturer, which is in Arizona. We're in California. Yay. So, uh, yeah, that really sucks. That means it's going to be longer. I'll have to rent a U-Haul. What do you think? I think a 6x12 U-Haul should fit all of that fairly easy. I really wish that big screen TV wasn't there. That maybe I throw in the back of my truck and drop off at the e-recycle before. But, uh... I think I can get that all. U-Haul's, I think, 30 or 35 bucks a day. It's not a big expense. It's just another hassle. So, but anyways, guys, rain all this week. We go to Dan's on Saturday. We're praying that the rain stops. There is a chance it will. Um, otherwise, um, well, either way, uh, rain stops or doesn't stop. doesn't matter. Soon as I'm getting to Stockton is next week. So this stuff's going to sit here for a good week. I'm okay with that. We have a lot of stuff that we've brought home, good stuff to sell. And that's fun. And it's been going great. So again, if you guys haven't checked out Whatnot... Check it out. But right now, let's go home and uh, get to cracking open that jewelry box. You guys ready for that? I'm ready. All right, guys. Next day. Um, yesterday got away from me. Why? What happened yesterday? I don't even know. <laughs> Every day is so busy, and um, which is great. It's great. I mean, it's busy for good reasons, and I'm so happy to be back working after all the health issues, um, you know, of recently in the last few months. But I got these boxes home. Showed this in the last video. Uh, let's go through it, all right? We got that one there. We got this one here. I 
I put the garbage bag back over it because I had the housekeepers here yesterday. I didn't want them to be tempted to go exploring. <laughs> and then over here, we've got uh, some items on the table getting ready for our next whatnot. And this is stuff that will have been sold by the time you guys see this video, but don't worry. This is stuff that was already shown in earlier digs. I think this stuff came out of the garbage bags that I had in the back of my van. Well, some of it came before that even, uh, but this piece especially, that Joker shirt. I'm kind of on the fence about keeping that. And this uh, tombstone, the wrestling, t uh, it's a jersey, but it's for the wrestler tombstone. Um, pretty cool. And of course, we'll, we'll finish filling these tables. These tables will be completely stuffed full before the auction on Monday night. All right, let's see. Um, got some trays here. We use these trays to display stuff in the auction. But for right now, I'm just going to use them to organize the jewelry. It would be great if we had like 10K, 14K gold, silver, and other. I don't think it's going to quite work out like that. But let's see what we got. First thing we're going to need is this magnet. Of course, there's better magnets than that one, but this one will do the job. That'll help us weed out anything immediately. You know, huh. I don't, I don't think there's anything. There's a little foreign coin. I forgot what's in here, actually. So this uh, right here has a serenity prayer inside. See that inside? Pretty cool. Um, I think there's two of them in this box. And I know we already went through this box, so I'm going to move quick, but I just wanted to mention this one. I already took the magnet to this. It looks like gold. It could just be gold-plated, but there's no markings on it for gold, so we might take that to our gold guy and get that tested, try to figure out if that's something real or not. I hope so. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Jim thought those were pretty. So I'm basically I'm just going to go through and, and um, test it for magnetism. If it's magnetism, it's not going to get really looked at again it'll get either put into a costume jewelry lot or into one of our big uh one gallon ziploc bags we we do big lots of uh jewelry sometimes in the whatnot auction so that one's stick and see that one is pretty though it is a pretty piece but it sticks to the magnet so it's not it's not precious metal these aren't sticking so those are potential this i think was the trifari yeah, see that right there, Trifari. Costume piece, but it is really nice. Nice pendant. Oh, check this out, you guys. Okay, <laughs> I was about to put the drawer back in. Uh, uh, better look in the, behind the drawers. Just in case. This little guy right here. Oh, okay, sticking. That's nothing. And I got a little, huh, maybe a little emerald or something right here. That's interesting. And that's it. All right, so all that stuck to the magnet. All right, so it's magnetized. I'll have Jana go through there and pick stuff out that she might want to auction anyways. Like this cameo piece right here is quite pretty. That's neat. And then, of course, like this is a neat little brooch right here. I didn't expect that to be gold or anything, but uh, nice piece. I don't know. She might test the stones on that. See if there's any real gemstones there. These are pretty right here. Screw back earrings. So, yeah, whatever. She'll go through that and see. This right here, now I'm going to uh, use the loop and look closer and see if I can see any markings. Something like this I don't expect. That's not gold. I mean, you can just tell touching it, feeling it. This is not gold. Um, it didn't stick to the magnet, but the stuff like this I, I do have to check out, of course. This guy right here, I think there might be two stuck together. One of them sticks to the magnet, one of them doesn't. One of them's marked 10K, the box says 10K. I think there's two. I got to get them separated. They're kind of tangled up, but let me do that off camera. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, I put that to the side. It says thank you, and there's a couple stones in there. Oh, those are pretty. Pretty and large. Huh. I'll put those in a plastic bag so we can keep it with those, and uh, we'll use a gem tester to try to figure out what these stones are. But I'm going to wait till the end to do that because there's a lot of stones in the other one, I think. So we'll try to do them all together. All right, guys, here's the update. Got it sorted out pretty good, pretty good. This, again, is um, not precious metals. I'm going to have Jana go through that and sort out anything she wants to put, you know, in the whatnot show. Some of it, like I said, just going to bag. These all, well, we'll test all these later, but right here, look at this. Tanzanites. Tanzanites are expensive, and uh, there's some beautiful stones in there. So this will be fun to go through this stuff, test it. I've got my uh, gem tester right here. I've had some questions lately about what do we use to test gems, and this is what we use right here. 
the Presidium Gem Tester 2 and uh, is very, very good. I think it runs around 300 bucks. I, I don't remember for sure. It's not cheap, but not that expensive either. It's like a probably a mid-level uh, gem tester, but much better than the pen style diamond testers, which I just never have had that much luck. This thing is, seems very accurate and um, tests a, a lot of different gemstones there. So over here, we've got a couple pieces from Trifari right here. This was also Trifari. So that's good. These two are 18 karat gold plated. That one right there, which looks uh, really interesting. It got me excited for a second, but when you touch it, you can almost just tell it's not solid gold. And then these earrings right here, which are also pretty nice, 18 karat gold plated. I don't think that's a diamond. Those are not real pearls, but it is real pretty. Okay, but here is uh, where the excitement starts. 925 silver, a lot of good looking pieces here. These right here, they look really pretty, but those are just CZs on there, colored CZs. Yeah, let's see, but this is some good looking stuff. This piece right here is my favorite of all of these. That's a tanzanite right there. The two little leaves are blue topaz, and those are little diamonds in there. There's a little pendant right here. It's 925 silver, but it's got that gold tone because it's gold plated, so that's that's called vermeil. There's another vermeil piece, but that's, uh, I think, a CZ. This right here says silver. I was surprised by that. I didn't think that was. And then I think that right there is iolite. I don't, I'm not positive. It tested for iolite or termalite or garnet. I'm not sure what it is, but that's, that is a gemstone right there. Pretty cool. So that's good. That, that stuff is definitely stuff we'll put in our whatnot auction. And then of course right here, that's where uh, the gold is. And um, there's a decent amount of gold, but this piece right here, that's another tanzanite there, and that is a big fat tanzanite on a 14 karat gold pendant. I don't think I tested those for diamonds, but I put my money on it. And then we got three 14 karat chains. That's fantastic. That will start adding up. Only one of those 14 karat gold um, hoop earrings, 14 karat back. This little shoe right here says 14 karat, but that's not a uh, gemstone right there. It's glass. And then these little guys were 14 karat. Good stuff. And then so I got it separated. There's the 10K bracelet. This is 10K. It was on one of the 14 karat chains, but it's a 10K, Mark 10K pendant. This um, necklace right here is Mark 10K, and it's connected to this pendant. These are, are not marked, but I'm assuming that those are also 10K. And a little back right there. And then this is my questionable pile. Of course, I put these rings there. I am uh, maybe going to test those before just because I'm curious. And then this bracelet right here, which is very pliable. I couldn't find a mark anywhere on this, but it, it's very pliable. I, I think that might be gold. It might be gold. So I might test those just because we, we do have a lot of weight, but look at the color on that one compared to this one. Hmm. I bet you this bracelet's 10K and the ring maybe a 14K. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. We'll test. We'll, we'll bring all this to our gold guy. With the exception of those few pieces, everything else we'll bring our gold guy and have him test it. And then now... Let's get to this big bad boy right here. Um, so I had to lay this on the back, on its back, on my back seat of my van. So stuff kind of piled up in the back there, which is unfortunate. And I pulled these drawers out and I can't get them back in because all the stuff's in the back. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to work a bit to get this thing emptied out. But let's get it emptied out and start going through it. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. I have not had a jewelry box like this in a very long time. Very, very, very long time. And boy, this is about as thrilling as it gets sometimes in the storage locker business. Jewelry, gold, silver, gemstones. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. It's been a few days or maybe a week now. I'm not sure what that is. Huh. Empty bag. Yeah, these look good. I think we've peeked in a bunch of them. A lot of these are empty boxes, but we'll get to the bottom of it. Don't worry, guys. We'll go through everything. Oh, look at that. A bunch of receipts in the back. Thank you for shopping at Macy's. Oh, something was $235. Handbag. You got gardeners outside. It sucks. They were <laughs> they were trimming the rose bushes right outside the window. I'm like, oh, boy. Of course, somebody has to be working right outside the window when I'm doing jewelry. Um, it says handbag there, 235. I don't know what's going on here. But look at this. 0.53 carat, 0.21 carat, 0.28 carat, 0.12 carat. Total 1.38. What is it though? It's 340 bucks. It doesn't say what it was, but some kind of gemstones, I assume. Okay, and then the last drawer down here. Oh yeah. Lots of stuff. Woohoo. 
Okay. But wait, there's more. Hmm. <laughs> hope that's gold. Purdy. It's a nice box. It needs to be cleaned up. But could definitely be able to sell those. Anything in here? No. Something in here though. Nope. Okay, just like how we did it before, we're gonna separate the stuff based on magnetism. 55 bucks on this right here. This sticks to the magnet, but that's just such a nice piece. Got a little cameo in there. Very nice. Yeah, it's marked stainless steel Hong Kong, but that's a brand new watch. There's another one. They like the cameos. It's different, but also very similar. Okay, let's see. A little ring box. I don't think those are real pearls. I do the teeth test, rub it on your teeth. If it feels like sandpaper, gritty, that usually means it's real. These, I think, are real. They're, those are freshwater pearls. See, they're regular. Yeah, and those are gritty. That's that's nice right here. Ooh, that looks like silver. Okay, we'll just put it aside. We'll put it over here. Nice. Sometimes knotted in between means it's more likely real. They knot them in between. These are not real, so they just knotted them to make them look real. Nice try. We'll give them an A for effort. Give them an F for uh, authenticity, though. <laughs> Still makes nice looking pearls, you know, to wear, but not not a lot of value there. So that chain doesn't stick, but the pendant does. But the chain, it's just you can just tell it that's not gold. Three dollars and eighty cents, Forever Twenty One. Yeah, not gold. Huh, it's a hairband, not real. That's interesting, it's got a little patina on it. I think it's probably gold-plated silver, Vermeer. That's pretty, not real. 1928, it's a nice piece. It's a good costume. So the clasp right here is silver, but this is like, almost like fishing line right here. Pearls are real. I, I honestly would not have thought anything of that. There's another one, hmm. Huh. We've actually got five of these. So do you wear them all together at the same time? I don't know. Yeah, this is nothing. Fake. It's fake. <laughs> this is fake too, but I, I see something in here. LCI. LCI. I'm not sure what that stands for, but um, we we'll probably want to look that up. It might be a designer. Yeah, a good, good designer. <laughs> that one's sticking to the magnet. Faux show. A little cameo. Another costume piece, but another nice piece. This might be a sellable piece. Cameos do well. That's not sticking. Sorarski. Ooh, yeah, baby. Not gold. Probably gold plated, but very nice. Very nice. Sorarski. All right. First drawer, guys. First drawer. Show me what you got. Ooh. Oh, nice. A little rosary. Is that rosary? I guess it's a rosary. Hmm. This says sterling on it. Wait, let's get the magnet. Sterling cross? No, it's not. <laughs> what? That's weird. It says sterling on here, too. Okay, that's not sticking. But this is this is not sterling. You can just tell. It's like stainless steel. It's too shiny. There's no patina on it. But then there's a patina on that little piece right there. And this has a little patina on it. It's very strange. Very hard to tell. Oh, it's in here too. Wait, wait. Look at this. Lifetime sterling silver rosary. Sterling silver beads. Heavy link chain. I'm really confused by that. And it's got one of these bags. That, okay, that might be why it's not tarnished. It's in that bag. This helps the silvers keep from tarnishing, but it's sticking. So maybe, maybe the cross is not, but the Jesus is silver. I'm not sure. Well, we'll just sell it like that because... We'll let, we'll let people figure it out for themselves. I don't know. 1930s, one cent or it's empty. Empty bags. Tahitian pearl with diamond ring. 18 karat, where's that? Couple buttons. Emporium. JC Penny. Empty. Empty. Button. Gold neck necklace. Gold necklace. Okay, we did find a few of those. These are, these are empty. Rome. Uh, empty. It's 
pretty little pillbox, huh? Now the receipt, JC Penny. I think they kept the receipts in their jewelry box for some reason. And the button. Mm, empties. Okay, there's something. Okay, not sticking. Is it sterling silver? Holiday wishes. I can't stand the distance from you. It makes my stomach turn. Please don't do this to me anymore. I love you so much. I want this holiday, se holiday season to be awesome. That's sad. Some little beads in there. Hmm. This drawer is a bust. Mostly. All right, that's that's it, guys. Buttons in thread. Next box. A drawer, whatever. <laughs> I think these are just all empty bags, which we don't need those. We use brand new bags. Those are a little weathered. Oh, okay. Finally, something not empty. It says the Danbury Mint right there. Huh. Okay, I think I kind of remember looking at these before when I was filming originally. And wait, yeah, I think this must have been one of the things. I, I They got little markings on there. I don't know what the markings mean. So there's a potential that this is gold, but I can't tell. I mean, I could test it, but I'm just going to put this in our question area so it can get tested by our gold guy. Mm -hmm. Hello Kitty, empty. Danbury Mint, again, empty. Not empty. What's this? Oh boy, it looks empty, but... Oh, look at this. Huh, bunch of gemstones. That's pretty cool. I'll have to go put that with the other gemstones. I mean, I don't know if they're gemstones. They could be glass. They they look, I don't know. I really don't know. We'll test them. Uh -huh. It says simply gold, but it's simply empty. Boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Let's just make sure. Yeah. Empty. Empty. Oh, not empty. Uh-oh. What do we got here? That looks silver to me. Uh, but it doesn't stick to the magnet. We'll look at it later. Empties. Wow, a lot of empties. Next drawer. Empty. Huh. That's a little different, isn't it? It's a costume, but it's still, it's kind of neat, right? Dang it, empty. Empty. Boo. Shucks. Dig nabbit. Bonk. Uh, all these polishing rags. Empty bags. Oh man, come on. That looks so good in there, but it's not. It's a big fat disappointment. Samuels, a diamond tradition. All right, that's another bomb or it's an old postcard right there. Whatever. Look at this. 850 bucks. 10K with diamonds. They spent some money on jewelry. That's for sure. Well, guys, so far the little jewelry box has been much better than the large jewelry box. That's That was unexpected, really. Eh, junk. VS first. Emerald cut. <laughs> okay, there's a there's a key shaped pendant, uh, brooch rather. Brooch. It's neat. That's pretty. A dollar, or a hundred dollars. I think it was a dollar. That's a nice piece though. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, that's silver right there. You can just tell. I mean, I'll 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 look at it under the loop, but I'm I'm calling it. It's silver. Oh, what's this? It doesn't stick, but I have my doubts. I have my doubts. Whoops. Those are not real. Done. Those are gritty right here. Oh, this is a good sign. Okay. These are all, th so far, these are all real. Get off. Get off. So far, real pearls, guys. Boy, these are, these are all feeling real to me. Hmm. Okay, this is nice. Okay, the, yeah, it's looking good. 
Come on, gold. Where are you at? All right, we got some foreign coins here. It looks like Italy. A little currency. Got this to match the one over here. All right, that's it for that bunch of safety pins and tags. Okay, this one looked kind of interesting. I have a feeling it's going to be empties. I'm just calling it like I see it. Bailey, Banks, and Biddle. Hmm. Mm. 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 Clearance right here. Some little... I don't even know what those are. Charms or something? Well, they don't stick. They're 40 bucks each new. It says 14 slash synth M-A-R. It could be 14 karat gold with the fake stones. Yeah, that right there says 14 karat slash synth December. I think those might be some gold charms. Okay, something. All right. Uh. Hmm. Empty. Bunch of paperwork, another Zales thing here, diamonds. 1145, where are those at? Dang. These guys spent some money. More stuff. We did not find any diamonds like that, so I'm not worried about keeping that. Otherwise, I'd keep that for um, whatever you call it, prominence or I don't know what, authenticity. Okay, more paperwork. That was my last jewelry box. There's a little, maybe a little bit of gold right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be it, guys, that'd be it. All right, guys, all done, all three, went through everything. Not, 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 not as good as the last one. Not even near as good as the last one. I think we found one earring back and these three charms, which are 14K, and they are marked 14K. So I added a bit more to the unknown, questionable uh, pile here and still some potential there. These right here appear to be real pearls, but uh, not precious uh, or uh, ferrous metals on there, not not gold or silver, okay? These over here are real pearls, appear to me. I mean, I did the tooth test, and the clasp are all marked 14K, or 14. Some of them have just a 14. Um, so it's, hmm, I don't know. Some of them say 14K, some just say 14, or like 14 slash 20. But I put these over here. I think they are gold clasps. These right here are silver, 925 silver, including real pearls. And then over here, the 925 silver, I added a bit more. Those rings, this ring right here is so pretty. That's cool. Um, Those are silver. So a little bit more silver here. This is really neat right here. Look at that piece. I'm not sure what type of stone that is, but that's beautiful. This I was hoping was gold, but it is 925, so it's gold-plated silver. Still beautiful. Look at these little pearls here. Um, this, this is some nice stuff. Nice stuff. And then this right here is also silver. Now this, you know, we did have this uh, react to the magnet, but it says silver in so many different places. So I put that there. I think it's some silver, some other metals. This thing, the chain says silver, uh, 925. This doesn't, but I think this is silver also. These freshwater pearls are be just beautiful, silver clasped. And then these ones with like the fishing line, <laughs> like a plastic line with the pearls all have 925 clasps. And I think there's five of them. Last thing to do, let me go through these and check these stones. See if we got anything like really special here. All right, guys. This says Morganite right here, but it says one piece. There's multiple pieces. I don't know. I didn't spend too much time on that. These I couldn't get to register. They're so tiny. It might be little diamonds, but not, not a lot of value because of size. This right here, not emerald, but it's like, I don't know. Uh, it is a gemstone for sure. These ones didn't register as anything. This one right here, I think is a quartz. Maybe. I forget. Uh, this is Mark Blue Diamond. That's not it. That's not picking up as a diamond. I'll have Gianna retest it. These are, uh, believe it or not, these are these are testing as emeralds right there. And I think that one is too right there. That's really pretty. So different colors in these, but they are testing as emeralds or something like it. Uh, these are just glass. Those ones, nothing special. These two right here are amethyst. Okay, got a decent amethyst. These are testing the topaz right here. Um, these are indeed tanzanites. That's really good. And over here, I forget. These are gemstones, but I, I couldn't figure out what they were. Because um, sometimes they test as like right on the line of a few different things. This one right here potentially is a diamond. It didn't quite hit diamond, but it's so tiny. It's, uh, I think having it in your hand when it's that small also throws it off. So anyways, got some good stuff here and uh, we'll probably, you know, run those through the tester a second time, identify them and put them in the little containers and sell them in our auction. So if you guys like gemstones, that's where you can find them.
All right, guys, now for one of my favorite parts of this jewelry uh, digs when we find the jewelry. It's weighing the gold. Okay, we have a little bit of stones, a couple pearls in there. That's gonna add to the weight and inflate it a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. Eight and a half grams, 8.5, so let's see what that is. We just used $35 a gram for 14K. It's, it's not totally accurate, but pretty close. Just about 300 bucks. Not bad. And we don't we don't have those charms on the scale, and that's okay because the tags are going to add to the weight, and I don't want to take the tags off. But let's just say minus the pearls, minus the stones, plus the charms, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now the 10K. All right, 6.2. And we use $25 for that. 162 bucks. So we got 460 bucks or so in gold. And that, again, doesn't include any of this i have a big fat question mark on that most of this is not going to be gold but a little bit a little bit of it is bound to be so we're gonna have some more value there uh we won't know till we get to our gold guy about that oh no i take it back i'm gonna probably test these three pieces here because that has a lot of gold if that is gold all right guys that was a pretty good pretty good locker i mean a lot of fun and again, I've said this many times before, I love the roller co coaster, the emotional roller coaster that you go on with lockers like this one where you have low expectations and then they just take you to a high. Often though, like I'll buy a locker and spend too much and that roller coaster starts out by going like this because you're like, oh no, I spent too much, I'm gonna lose money and then you find something big and it goes up or it starts to peter out and then it goes back up. This one uh, basically went in with very low expectations and right out the gate with the Kiss collection, those first two boxes, boom and then we had so many more the jewelry the watches the some vintage clothes t-shirts so much great stuff this one i said i paid 810 and plus fees it's about 891 and then yesterday i went to the dump took that whole truck uh, my honda truck full to the dump 48 bucks at the dump so let's just say we're in it for 950 right just say 950 so far in sales and keep in mind this is um We've had two whatnot sales as of when I'm filming this. By the time you guys watch it, we'll probably have one or two more. Um, we'll also probably have taken some of the stuff to the Danza flea market. There'll be more money made there. Just telling you so far, we've sold about $1,600 on eBay and at the flea market. We did take clothes to Stockton. It wasn't that much, maybe 200 bucks in clothes. Took a lot of clothes. Um, sold 1,600 on whatnot. I told you guys the last two auctions, we've done 5,700 and 7,000 in the last two auctions, but that's not all from this locker. There's a little bit from older stuff and stuff we're mixing in. So Jan and I thought about it and we looked at about, so we had about 3,500 from this locker on the first whatnot sold and 5,000 on the next one. That puts us at about 8,500 in sales between two auctions just from this locker. Now whatnot does charge charge us an 8% commission. Plus we pay, I think it's 3.1 or 3.2% for the credit card processing. Very fair rates, like much better than eBay. Very fair rates. So that's like what, 11.2%. So let's take our 8,500 times, hopefully I'm doing this right, point 888, I think that's right, 11.2, right? Times 0.888, we're taking 12% off. That puts us at 7,500, um, plus this, like, like I said, 1,600. 91.48 so far, and then we minus, what did I say, 950, just using, let's just say 948 between the cost of the locker and the dump. We're at $8,200 in profit, and that doesn't include the gold that we just looked at. That doesn't include <laughs> really anything from this video that you saw, anything pretty much from the last video that you saw, the video where we found the jewelry box, all that stuff is yet to sell. Actually, back it up, even from the video before that, when I had the garbage bags in the van, none of that stuff is sold yet. So, wow. I'm estimating we're probably going to profit around $15,000 from this locker, and I think that is a conservative estimate. Lockers like this, where there's so much good stuff, sometimes hard to say because we sell the stuff so much later stuff rolls in and it's like oh i forgot that came from that locker too great you know and that that's just the way it works so anyways great locker a uh, great way to get back in the game for me because I had been out for a couple months, two and a half months or so. And also a great way to kick off 2024. All right, guys. Well, I hope you did enjoy this video and, um, and, and this locker series. It was a great one. It's one that I will not forget because it was... Uh, it was a ride, okay? It's a ride. That's why we do this business. And if I'm, if you didn't hear me mention before, I do have another locker. I bought almost on the same day, I think the next day or something. And I rented that one for a month and we haven't even touched it. It was a live auction, sold, 
closed it, locked it, rented it for a month, and haven't been back. I haven't touched one item in there, and that's going to be the next on the lineup, I think, unless we buy something else. Who knows? Well, you'll know in the next episode. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts.